Hello friends, welcome to Talent Crafts. Hi friends, I am back with my new video tutorial of Python for Beginners. In the last video, we learnt about tuples in Python and what is the basic difference between tuples and list in Python. In this video, we will learn dictionaries in Python. So, let's get started. So, what is dictionaries in Python friends? Dictionaries is an unordered collection of items and other compound data types have only values and as an item but in dictionaries we have a key and value pair. So dictionaries are also known as maps, hash tables, associate arrays. Let's see if you want to add name and age of people in dictionary then how you can do that so let's take an example if i want to add my friend's name and age of there in my dictionary so i'll type d is equal to in the curly braces name that is jack and what is his age so i'll tap 25 then jenny and age will be 26 let's take 26 for example steve and age will be 27 let's see so this is my dictionary and this is the values which I added into it so basically this is a key this is a key and this is the value pair let's see if it is saved in a dictionary or not uh, yeah you can see the dictionary here correct now if you want to view any particular element in dictionary then how you can do that so if I want to see Jenny and the age of Jenny so how you how I can do that so I'll simply take D and then in the square bracket just like we did it in list but there we were taking the values and here we will take the name assigned to it So D Jenny and then simply enter. You can see 26, correct? So this is how we can see any particular element in uh, dictionaries. So friends, what basically happens here is Jenny is called as key in the dictionary. So Jenny is called as the key in the dictionary and using this key we are viewing the element or a value of that so now how to add a new people with his or her age in my dictionary so i want to add my new friend to my dictionary list suppose i forgot to add it before and now i want to add it then what i have to do is simply type d and then in the square brackets so i'll take her name as nancy is equal to so let's take her age as 23 so this is how i can add any time an element in dictionary now let's see if it is added or not so here you can see it is added over here in dictionary friends always remember that in dictionary order never matters so it is okay if you add it in the last if you want to add it in the first but in dictionary it never matters that what is the order 
so you don't have to worry about that just like we did it in list now if you want to delete and key value if you want to delete a key value pair from your dictionary list so i want i added jack over here correct now i want to delete it from my dictionary so what i have to do is i have to simply type a function delete and then t and the square bracket the key that is jack so so this is how i can delete now let's see if it is deleted or not so i'll print t and you can see here the like jenny steve nancy but there is no jack now now if you want to view your dictionary that what all key and what all value pairs i have added in my dictionary this is a short dictionary but if i have made a long dictionary and i don't remember i want to see it again then what i have to do is i have to simply write for loop and key in d so we used in function before also in list correct but i know that for loop is something new for you guys i will bring a video on for loop as well so now just to see key and value pair in your dictionary you just have to type print and then in the parentheses key and comma then key that is the key which i want to add and then i'll print values now here i have to add the dictionary that is my dictionary d and in the square bracket key of it so let's just enter so when you enter it simply shows you the key and values of it so jenny is my key and the value is 26 correct so there is also an another way to check the same thing so for that you can use tuples so just simply type for and v in d dot items items is a function you can just copy this because it's going to be almost the same so just control c and v now you have to change here we so let's check so you can get the same values here also by using this so these are the two methods you can use to see your dictionaries so now how to check whether a person i wanted is added in the dictionary or not so suppose i want to check that whether a person in my dictionary is added or not whether i forgot to add or i want to just check so the same way we did in list if you remember so i want to check john is in my dictionary or not so i'll type john and then m and then d So it shows me false. You know why it shows false? Just because there is no John in our dictionary. It is Jenny, Steve, Nancy, but there is no John in our dictionary. So it is showing me false. If you remember, we used this in function in list also. So now if I want to check another true answer like i want to check 
I want to check Nancy and D. So whether Nancy is in my dictionary or not, let's just enter. And here you can see it gives me a true that yes, Nancy is in your dictionary. So this is how you can check a person is added in your dictionary or not. Now, if you want to remove all the directories from your dictionary, then what you can do? You can simply write d dot clear. That is a function, and then enter. So let's see if my dictionary is cleared or not. So it shows you here that your dictionary is empty now. So always remember friends that dictionaries are very important part of Python. So it is very useful to learn dictionaries in Python. Dictionaries are often used in Python programming. So it's really important to clear your concepts for dictionaries. This was all about dictionaries and Python. I will be back with new videos of Python soon. Till then stay tuned to Talent Crafts. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel Talent Crafts. Your support is really important to us. If you haven't clicked on bell icon, please do it right now. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.